Hi everybody and welcome back to Bell's Red Dead Redemption 2 walkthrough and I would like to say a warm welcome to my subscribers who have subscribed to Bell's channel thank you for watching and to any newcomers who may want to just subscribe please do, it's a good thing to do <laughs> um, but yeah so today we are going well I'm going to be showing you how to successfully rob places without being seen unless of course lawmen actually see you um, now there's a few things when you're robbing a place it's not just as simple as just shove your mask on and go it does take a little bit of planning you don't need to plan an escape route and an entry route you should but you don't have to now the three main things you're going to need is a mask your bandana is your best bet because you can take it off easily and put it back on without needing to go to your horse for a mask. Two, you need a new horse, which is why a bandana's good, because you carry it, not the horse. Second thing is a new outfit. You're going to need a specific outfit you never, ever, ever wear, other than when you uh, rob people. I store it on my horse, my one, but you don't have to. Um, I found out that, I, you know, I put a mask on it, I put a ghost mask on it, and then I found out that attracts the lawman and things. So it's best to have a bandana, so I will be taking it off. Um, but I'm going to show you. So I have a spare horse here, a temporary horse. I did bond with it. I fed it like two oat cakes, calmed it a few times, and patted it a few times. And I got bonding level one, so it listens to when I call. So I've moved him here. Um, and the two places we're going to rob is Strawberry General Store, because it has a hidden side business. And the Rhodes Gen uh, Gunsmith, purely because it's got something bad going on there. Uh, not a side business, but something bad. Anyway, so I've got my horse. This is my normal horse. I did get this horse to be um, the, the, ro the rubber horse, but um, I kind of rode into Strawberry with it without thinking. So one thing, don't go into Strawberry with your horse unless you have a bandana on and you rob an outfit. So, you know, stay clear. Park your horse somewhere near and then walk into Strawberry if you want to do that. Um, second thing, so yeah, so once you've got your spare horse, well I robbed this horse, the other one, the other one over there. Um, now you want to change your outfit. I have out outfit one. This is my outfit. So that black outfit. Really nice. I do have the mask, but so I'm going to take that off. I'm going to make sure I can wear my bandana. So that's just what I'm going to wear, basically. You want your bandana off, though, because... It's not good to wear it. If a lawman sees you with a bandana on, they're going to come and investigate you. If m people do, I don't think they do, but I'm not positive on that. So it's probably better to just not be seen um, or have your bandana on for a few seconds while someone's looking at you. But a new outfit, new horse, that's what you want. And obviously your bandana. So we're going to go into this general store. Now, purely for this video, I'm going to go in with my normal horse, with my normal outfit. Because I'm going to show you how to trigger the ability to rob the general store. Because you can't do it otherwise. So I'm on my normal horse, in my normal outfit. We're going to go, we're going to leave this horse here. That's why I say you need to make sure you bond it with it. So you can leave it there and whistle it if you need to. So we're going to run in to here, across the bridge. Now the general store's got to be careful it because it's so close to the jail. So if you can try and stab better. So this is the general store. Now you're going to not want to go into it. You're going to want to go round the side and under here between these barrel, to the wheel and the boxes. There'll be a little window, easy to see at night. If you peek your, you know, take a peek, Morning, you can look through and you can see that I mean, they're just still in something. So yeah. And it unlocks the side and there's something on the right hand side will pop up. Um, but it's already popped up for me. Um, and yeah, I can now rub it. Now it's not just simple as walking in with your gun. You've got to go up to the cashier and aim your gun. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm going to go back. We're going to come back in a minute. No lawman is out. Normally the sheriff stands there. And there's not any people here. My escape route is 
over there, cross that bridge, and up and out, basically. So my escape route will be, um, if the general store's there, it'll be down there, over there. If there's lawmen down there, or up there, if there's lawmen up here, then I'll go down and round. If there isn't, then I'll go up here to here, come down, and go all the way down. That's my plan. Um, but other than that, we're just going to go get the horse. You want to remember to equip your weapons. Of course, that horse isn't going to have them. And you also want to, to change your outfit to outfit one, or whichever one you saved to have. And obviously, take off your ghost mask. Right, we can jump back on this horse. Completely new horse. We're gonna go in. So if someone sees you, says take off the mask. Turn away from them. Take it off. Yeah, yeah. All right. Try not be seen. Remember. So go into the store. so fast. Baseman, I want to see what you got cooking down there. <laughs> that ain't nothing. Just a little batch of white lightning to warm the old bones. Take me down there. Now! Also got a rubber chest. It's, uh, it's down this way. Uh, like I say, no nothing to see really. Just a just a little drop on the side. I'll be the judge of that. So, uh, are you coming down? I'm just trying to make ends meet. It, it ain't like strawberries full of big spenders. Now, you gotta have some money stashed away down here somewhere. Money? If only. I, I'm sorry, mister. I, I think all this just probably looks more than it is. Whoa, please, stay back. Come on! You don't have to clean me out! I look like a wealthy man to you! S stay away from me, please. There's a lawman investigating on top. If he comes down, then I'll hold time. And he seems to be the only person, so that's good. So no shooting. Um, to not attract more. But if you notice where it says wanted, it says investigate, it says unknown suspect. So they don't know it's you. So that's good. I want to take a miracle tonic. You can see it ain't much, really. What's that out there? Right. Show me where the money is. You want to talk to him? I ain't gonna ask you twice. Okay! Okay! Uh, th th there's a loose brick in the wall by the still. That's better.
hidden stash. Inspect. Fifty pound. Do you want to take anything else off the walls? I don't think they obviously don't know it's down here, so I think you're good. Keep your mouth shut. Maybe I'll keep my mouth shut about this operation of yours. We all gotta make a bit extra on the side. Yes, we do. As simple as that. Lawman will investigate. Uh, the only reason it investigated was because I accidentally fired a shot. But once you've got everything, you can now go back up top. Of course you can like you make me sick. take out the thing, keep your bandana on and until you're out, you can you so you can now steal everything you want in the store as well. You want to make sure nobody walks in there. I didn't realize you could do this actually. Steal and steal. And like nobody knows you're even here. Lawman's gone. Obviously, the lawman would have come into the shop. At least as long as you wait long enough. Salted beef. Pocket watch. So, you do want to come in here and see what you actually want to steal. It's obviously going to lower your thing in it because you're stealing. But uh, I don't care, I help enough people on the way. I'm going to keep that on, see what happens. That's why I say keep, because there was a lawman just outside. Unknown suspect. As you can see, we just keep running. We should get out of the way by the time the lawman even have a clue. Okay, boy. But you cannot be seen by the lawman. You just can't. If they see you, they know who you are almost straight away. That's what I mean when you're robbing. So yeah, that was that. We're gonna wait till it stops. I'm going to take off my outfit. Apparently, we're supposed to be able to go back into the town with a different horse and whatnot, and you'll be fine. So I'm going to. There we go. Stay. I'm going to see if it works. So yeah, I'm back in the town, no lawman is searching. The town, I believe, is on lockdown though for a bit. But you just cannot be seen by lawmen. Because if you are, they they just know who you are. And it does luckily mark it on your map, so that's good. Anyway, since we've just robbed that now, we can go. Let's get a road. So that is how you successfully steal from the general store without being detected. Obviously, I was only detected because I had accidentally fired a shot. But other than that, you aren't. So you can rob the crashers, you can rob the actual store ingredients on the side, you can rob him. So he's doing something illegal just as much as you are. Um, as well as that, that's how you rob. Like, if you were just half starving, you shoot out, they wouldn't know who you were. I don't know if the lawman do, but certainly the people don't. So like that, that shopkeeper, he recognises me when I'll go in. He'll say, oh, welcome back. But he didn't recognise me with my mask on and my different outfit. 
because that's kind of how it is. A lot of people don't know this, that you change your horse and your outfit and also wear a mask. A lot of people don't. And there's a lot of uproar about it because people are so like, I just don't get it. You know? Um, anyway, so we've got the horses with us. You know, we're going to go to the gunsmith. Now, don't go in there. But if you go, I'm going to go round the back a bit. If you go round the back, you're going to see there's a little hatch at the bottom. Over here! Hey. Why are you dressed up like that? <laughs> I've seen some sick perversions in my time. This one might take the prize. <laughs> Wait, please. You gotta help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn foot. Well, shit. So we need to help him. We can rub something. Please, he's never gonna let me go. Apparently, though, when you do this. It doesn't matter. I can rub the store now because it's a suspicious activity. But apparently it doesn't it like it doesn't matter if you're rubbing him or that nobody cares because of what he was doing. Hey hey, I can't have anyone wearing a mask in this shop. I wanna see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing or no worse down there, I swear. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now! All right, all right. I ain't got nothing to hide. I got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to wake him. You know, you can always come back after he wakes up. Rub the cash with you. Nobody knows you're in here today. What the hell is going on here? He was being a bad little boy, stealing candy from the store again. It's for his own good. I'm not your little boy, you mad son of a bitch. Why are you wearing that sailor suit? That crazy maniac put me in it. He thinks I'm his kid's son. Kidnapped me, he did. Do I look like a kid? <laughs> Always in such a rush to grow up these days, aren't they? Right, we're gonna loot the. You're not gonna help me. Take anything you want. Just leave I'm us never in peace. Out of here, am I? Take anything you want. Just don't harm my boy. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna steal what I want first. Where is it? So I know this must look bad, but the boy needed to be disciplined. Shoot the chains! Oh, oh, oh finally! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, oh you, you I'm sick sorry! Son. Please forgive me. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't face that he was gone. I was teaching Sammy how to hold the rifle proper out by the river. The recoil shot him backwards. He slipped into the river. The water pulled him downstream oh. so quick. It all happened so fast, I didn't know what to do. I searched up and down that river bank for days. But I couldn't find my boy. I just miss him so much. And you! You remind me of him. You look just like him. 
I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Don't know what else you want from me. Take what you want. I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so there's a weapon in a lot that. that poor man. So now you can basically rob him. So you can rob his cash register, steal cartridges, and don't know whether it takes your honour. It does. I don't care, I'm getting done with that. I'm out. So that was a bit weird. As I said, he has a. He's a. This was a tad weird one. It wasn't like a side business. Or was it? It was a... See, so yeah, you can steal all these, but it's going to take up so much velocity thing in it. Uh, take, take up so much stuff. And so, yeah. You just freed the kid, basically. And that... Well, obviously this one. This is how you kind of rob it. You put a mask on and nobody sees you. I don't want him out there. But the thing to take away from this is that if you're riding into town to rob something, you need a different horse, you need a specific outfit, and you need a mask. This is so nobody recognises you. I'm pretty sure the law doesn't fully even, maybe. I haven't tried it. We may try it in the future episodes. Yeah, that, so that's how you rob properly, um, which a lot of people actually weren't sure of and a lot of people were having difficulty with, and you basically, you were, you were stealing about £70 in all, and you come out with a £150 bounty, and it, but there's no point in stealing then, is there? Um, so that's how you do it properly. It does take a little bit of planning, but it does work, and it does allow you to steal and not be known. So yeah, thank you for watching, I do hope you liked this video, if you did like learning how to properly rob in Red Dead Redemption 2, then please give this video a like, uh, and if you found it helpful, then obviously give it a like. Um, if you did find it helpful, in fact, and you've got your own stories to tell, then please leave a comment. Um, I'd love to hear if this helped you, or if you've got new information, or what, whatever, really. Um, and as always, if you would like to see more of my videos, then please subscribe. It is appreciated. Thank you for watching and goodbye.